Hi, my name's Eve and I'm currently talking to you from and directly from the Villa and Revitalize in Turkey in Izmir. I arrived here one week ago to have a breast reduction and lift. Um, I decided to come to Revitalize because I know a friend who had came here a few years back to have a, a tummy tuck. So, so she had recommended me this because she came here with a friend also who had a, a breast, I think she had an augmentation and she recommended the surgeon. Um, but before deciding to come, I had actually looked at a surgeon in Spain where I live and he quoted me, I think, near enough 6,000 euros um, for the breast reduction and lift. And also just one night stay in hospital and then home to a one-year-old and a three-year-old. Which isn't very convenient when you have to pick them up and do lots of mummy things, obviously. So I sent an email to Revitalize for a quote. And they came back, they gave me their WhatsApp numbers. I think I've been WhatsApp them for about a month now. Um, and anything, any stupid little thing that you think, oh, um, they're going to get annoyed or whatever, they text me back. And they were so happy and so nice. So I booked up my flight in September um, to come here to get the operation. And they sent me my information I need, my contract, everything that I had to stop doing, um, like medications to stop doing, if you smoke to stop smoking, if you drink to stop drinking, all the information that you need um, to go ahead with the operation. So I arrived here a week ago. Um, tomorrow so I arrived on the 12th of November at night time I flew from Malaga and a driver came and picked me up from the airport brought me back to the villa where Tiona was waiting here for me Um, she gave me a form to fill in to see if I was allergic to anything or any foods I didn't like Um, you also get an option in, um, for breakfast to choose every morning you fill that out at night time and um, they've been doing that for the last week with us Um, so the next day I got to eat into the clinic to meet the doctor who was going to do the surgery on me. Um, he'd done a blood test. Um, I also wanted to get some liposuction, but he's a very honest doctor. And he'll say if you need anything done or if you don't need anything done, not to do it. <clears throat> so we decided not to do the liposuction in the end. And I just went ahead with the breast reduction and lift. Um, he'd done the markings on me, took the blood, everything was okay. And then we headed straight to the hospital. Um, then I met Nana, who she is the assistant who stays overnight with you at the hotel, at the hotel, at the hospital. So um, she stays there 24 7 with you, translates anything, helps you in and out of bed with your food if you need anything. Um, then they put um, a drain in to put my medication in, and then they took me down to surgery. So I had my surgery about, <clears throat> I think last thing I can remember, I had my surgery about half past one in the afternoon. And I remember waking up, being very warm, and then getting taken up to the room where Nana showed me what they had taken out, which I was like, ah, uh, but it was a lot. And um, so I fell back to sleep and I was asleep most of the, the night. <clears throat> the next day we got um about around one o'clock so you're in the hospital I'd say for about 24 hours more or less depending obviously every patient is different so we got brought back to the villa and I've barely been on any pain medication I just it was a bit sore with a bandage I had they just wrap you tightly and it's quite itchy for me for my skin anyway just that one night and I had my operation I said the Wednesday I had some soft tubes put in underneath the bandage so they weren't hanging out or they weren't annoying me. Like you see, in, I, anyway, before I came, I used to watch a lot of YouTube videos and I always seen people with the tubes hanging down with the drains and I was like, oh, that was my worst fear. But he, um, Dr. Zenk, had placed them underneath the bandage in a way that I never even noticed they were there. So he um, emptied that, um, cleaned my dressing the next day before we left hospital and then I seen him again on Friday where he took the um, the drains out, wrapped my dressings up and we were here on the weekend just um, hanging about two girls that are here also um, just ch talking, relaxing um, and 
today, which is Monday, I went back to the surgeon and he took my bandages off. Bandages off. <clears throat> I had the free nipple treatment also where they have to remove the nipple and put it back on again. So I took a few stitches from there out and um, he gave me my surgical bra and I'm back home tomorrow. So all in all, it has been amazing. I'm sat here in my room relaxing, which is very nice. We went out for a walk today, which was lovely. And they have arranged for my pickup already. They've done a washing for me for tomorrow. Everything's ready. I just need to pack my bags now and then I'll be back home. So I thought I would have been in loads of pain, which I'm not. I thought I'd been on lots of medication, which I'm not. So I'm very happy. Um, and I would recommend Revitalize to anybody that is thinking that, oh, it's in Turkey, it's far away. Um, it's had a few bad reviews, which everybody reads and everybody must think, oh no, this has been made up. But all in all, it's been a very good experience and I've enjoyed every single minute of it. So I'd like to say thank you to the surgeons and to Tiona and Nana <clears throat> who have looked after me so much this last week. And it's like, as everybody says, like a family and it's very, very good place to, to get your operation. So thank you, Revitalize.